What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're looking at England and the Six Nations team are to join some type of 18 tournament which will feature Japan and Fiji at the same time. Now rumor has it that we were originally looking at South Africa and Japan joining it but that seems to be off the cards probably because of the current situation of the COVID-19 pandemic in South Africa. So now they're looking at Japan and Fiji and what an opportunity it is for these two teams to join the Six Nations team in a tournament that will definitely give them a lot of exposure and experience at the same time playing all the six teams. Now World Rugby were supposed to announce today on Tuesday the whole situation for the global calendar and take a vote that still hasn't been decided as of yet and the reason is because they want to continue discussions for this type of tournament it's it's a st stated that japan and fiji are supposed to be confirmed as the two guest nations to join the six nations team um, in an inaugural, inaugural eight team tournament in november and december and then a final going happening on the 5th of december Negotiations between unions and clubs are continuing this week about the completion of the 2020 fixture schedule and proposals to restructure the calendar. But as mentioned, nothing's been finalized yet as to whether or not we're going to complete the June internationals, whether or not we're going to see the end of the Six Nations, the Rugby Championship being postponed. This is scheduled to take place, obviously, and they're hoping this will build and generate a lot of income for the teams in order to try and raise funds for the money lost for all the Six Nations team. But also, at the end of the day, we still haven't finished the Six Nations tournament. England and Italy have been postponed, as well as the other fixtures that still need completion. So the talk is that maybe they will finish the Six Nations, let the Rugby Championship go on, and then have this tournament. But what about the South? I still haven't seen anything being done in order. Are we just going to have the Rugby Championship and that's it done? I would rather have all the internationals, November internationals played, and also the July ones caught up just so we can get more rugby games going as opposed to having a tournament. I mean, the rugby championship happens, the Six Nations will probably finish, then we get this type of tournament. But then what happens to the South? Do we get left out again? Or are they going to figure out another tournament that involves the Four Nations again? I mean, why aren't we included in something like this? I mean, if you add the likes of South Africa, New Zealand and Australia, it just makes it a little bit more exciting. Or how are they going to go about it? Is it just going to be New Zealand Super Rugby? Are we actually going to see rugby? International rugby? Is it going to happen? Are these guys going to agree on a date for the global calendar to actually begin this year and what we're going to see? I think those are the frustrating questions um, because it's going to be held to, I think it's been postponed to um, July in order to get a final decision as to what is going to happen. I mean, this tournament sounds great. Japan and Fiji, phenomenal opportunity for them. And I couldn't be happier for their development, especially Fiji, because they haven't been given as much opportunity. Whereas Japan has now been promoted to Tier 1 nation, definitely got a little bit of a relationship with Bill Beaumont, so they've got a nice future ahead of them. But I'm glad to see Fiji also included, because there was talk of them being good friends with Bill too. Um, which again makes you wonder, World Rugby favouring these two sides, getting the vote, when the votes technically could have gone the way of Augustin Pichot. A lot of mixtures and concerns and things in the air that are going about with unanswered questions as of yet. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it says here the World Rugby Council meeting, which had been scheduled for Tuesday, which is today, to vote allowing international rugby to be played in October as well as November, has been postponed until mid-July to allow for talks to continue, which involves this tournament. But again what's happening with the South and all that jazz. But that's just my two cents worth. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. How, do, how would you like to see it structured? Me personally, I want the June or the July internationals to continue, the November internationals to continue because we had so much excitement of games. I mean, Ireland, South Africa were going to play. Um, we were going to see some great tournament or games coming up. I love the idea of this tournament and I think it's good. But what are we going to do to fill in the gaps of the November internationals and all that stuff? Are we going to throw it all into one little time? Because at this stage, all I'm hearing is a tournament for Japan and Fiji. What about SA, Oz, New Zealand and um, Argentina? 
again, COVID-19 is the question here. And I think that's maybe the main concern is because South Africa don't have an answer as to when. But with things getting sort of reduced, yes, our, our crisis is going up. We can indeed get the boys out there to travel and see how things go that way. But we'll wait and see until mid-July when we get a final answer from World Rugby. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.